Dr. Ren Massey, who, like I said, has been uh, quite a strong figure in the coming together of all of this. Uh, you know, IPATH and ATI has looked toward uh, WPATH for uh, their practices. And, uh, you know, we have Dr. Ren Massey to tell us about exactly why WPATH and why GEI and what sort of learnings we can take uh, as a very, as a country where this field is very young, how can we take these lessons from some something as established as the GEI, as WPATH. So Dr. Ren, please take it away. Thank you, Tia. And I want to thank Florencia and also IAP and ATI and WPATH for letting me be with you today. So WPATH, the World Professional Association for Transgender Health, has been around for over 40 years. And it's the premier international multidisciplinary organization that studies and advocates for and provides education around transgender and gender diverse individuals' health care. And we also wrote the standards of care, the very first version in uh, 1979. And we're now in version seven and are updating. And by the end of the year, we expect to have version eight of the standards of care out. The standards of care are what we teach from in our courses. We have foundations courses and we have advanced medical, mental health, child and adolescence, ethics, and other courses. And also the standards of care are very important because uh, they are used around the world by insurance companies, governmental bodies, court systems, educational systems, including in the, in the law in India a few years ago, granting rights to transgender individuals. So the standards of care that WPATH writes are very important as a global healthcare document. 